Hi guys, I have a couple of hauls for you today. Uh, China Glaze has come out with their new metallic crackle collection and it took me four different Sally stores but I managed to find all six of the colors. Um, to start off with we have this gold and this is called the tarnished gold. Next is the bronze and this is called cracked medallion. This is actually what's on my nails. I've got a cracked medallion on over China Glaze Starboard, which is this green. And then I've got a matte top coat on top of that. Um, the next color from the Crackle collection is Platinum Pieces. That's this silver color. Then we go out of the traditional metallic colors and this is Latticed Lilac, which is kind of a frosty purple. And this one lost its little hangy tag at some point and honestly if I'd noticed while I was in the store I probably would have uh, borrowed one from one of the other bottles but I'm just OCD like that. This pink is called Hot Metal and the sixth color from the collection is this teal and this is called Oxidized Aqua and they're in pretty much the normal china glaze bottle except it has crackle on the sides there and then they have this little tag kind of around the top um... the other colors i picked up from Ulta and this is actually an Ulta exclusive OPI collection it's called Shimmer Into Summer and it's four colors this uh... sparkly gray is glitterly the best silver ever and it's kind of a gray polish with silver glitter in it. The next one is a teal glitter and this is called Sparkle Teal Sunrise. And as soon as I saw this one, it reminded me of China Glaze Atlantis. So I am actually going to do um, I'm going to do some swatches of the China Glaze crackles and I'll also do a comparison of those two glitters. Um, the last two colors of the collection are very similar, but one is darker, one is lighter. The lighter one is called I'm an Aquaholic, which I think is a great name. And the darkest one is called How You Bluein. So those are the four colors from the Ulta Exclusive Collection and then there was also a display of their summer pink collection which is called nice stems and i picked up two colors from that uh... this one is called be a dahlia won't you and it's a pink with a shimmer to it a little bit of a gold if you get it at the right angle and then this glitter which is full of different size of glitter and flakies this is called i lily love you and if you get the Ulta Flyer, um, they have it worded in there that if you spend over a certain amount of money, then you'll get one of the um, Ulta exclusive colors for free. Um, it works out to about two bottles, and then you'll get a free one from the collection. Um, but if you go there and you want to get more than one free, just talk with um, you know one of the Ulta sales reps because since it's not the deal isn't buy two get one free it's spend x amount of dollars get one free i actually had them break my order into two uh... transactions so that i could get two free bottles so you know just be aware of that and they'll work with you and you know try to make you happy so you know it took a couple extra minutes to you know, ring up two transactions, swipe my card twice and all that, but I mean it's worth it to get an extra bottle of polish. So, like I said, I'll be doing swatches of the China Glaze Crackles and I also have one other crackle. I received this from the Born Pretty store. Um, looks like the brand is called Le Shine and this is kinda like a purple crackle um, looking at the way the top is, I'm kind of hoping that this may crackle similar to the Kellier brand, which they no longer carry. So stay tuned for the swatches and uh, let me know what you think if you've managed to track down the new uh, metallic crackles.
All right, on to the swatches. Um, the first couple that I wanted to swatch are not crackles. Um, I was curious how I Lily Love You was going to look. So, um, this one here is three coats, just over nothing. You can see it's still pretty transparent, you know, you can see through the polish. Uh, this one is over white and this one is over black which is kind of really disappointing to me because I was hoping that more of the pink would pop out and barely any pink um, showed at all. The glitter all turned kind of iridescent. Um, next what I have to show you is the comparison between uh, Sparkle Teal Sunrise and China Glaze Atlantis. And in the bottle, they look very similar. Atlantis has a little bit more hollow to it. But um, here on the nail wheel, this is uh, the OPI and this is the China Glaze, both at three coats. And you can see the China Glaze is much more opaque, um, much more wearable on its own. Um, I decided that I wanted to see what it looked like um, over black and over white and I actually had to uh, get out my second nail wheel because I already had all the other nails prepped for the crackle but here we have it over white sorry that's a little messy it wasn't quite dry and I was in a hurry um, still not that impressive and I like it over black but it reminded me really of something I had just worn and here on the nail next to it is Claire's Sparkle over black and you can see that um, in the bottle these two are not really that similar I mean this one really looks green and this one is very turquoise but um, on the nail over black they're literally almost identical so I'm a little disappointed in that one. Um, you know, it seems like a lot of OPI's glitters lately are not that opaque and not wearable on their own. And as fun as it is to um, do layering with colors, um, I mean, in this case, Atlantis wins hands down. I mean, I, I like a glitter that I can wear all by itself. Um, for the China Glaze Metallic Crackles, I decided to do each over two colors. Uh, once over black and once over um, a different color. So I'm going to start out with uh, tarnished gold. And these dry pretty quick. Um, most of the shatters do, as you guys know, if you've been watching my uh, swatches so far. And the green that I'm going to put it over is a uh, China Glaze Starboard. And that's from the Anchors Away collection. That's actually what I've got on my nails, but I did it with the bronze, so I wanted to see how it looked with the gold also. And just see how that's starting to crack there. You can really see it um, over the black. The next up is the bronze uh, cracked medallion, and for this one I'll be doing it over black and then over kind of a dark brown. And the dark brown is China Glaze Unplugged. And I think it's just fun to do, you know, different combinations with the crackle uh, rather than just black or white, even though that may be what you see most often. Uh, the third one up is the silver platinum pieces. And I'll do that over the black first so that you guys can see. And then the blue that I'll be doing it over is China Glaze Blue Paradise. And I think blue and silver is just a really classic combination. So I think that'll look nice together. And you can see uh, as I go back to the gold that that's uh, cracking pretty well and so is the bronze. 
These are maybe a little bit slower than some of the crackles I've swatched before, but they're still drying pretty quickly. Uh, next we have Lattice Lilac. And I'll do that over black first, obviously. And then I chose to do it over a dark purple, and I think that's almost showing up black on camera. But it is actually purple. It is Zoya Pinta. And just gives kind of a contrast tone to the same color. Um, the next one up is the pink, and that is Hot Metal. And for this one, of course, the black. And even in China Glaze's advertising, they're showing these over black. And then I decided to have some fun and do it over a hollow. This is Color Club Revolution. And, you know, the crackles and shatters don't work too well over matte polishes, so I'm hoping they play nice with the hollow. Um, I don't know for sure. We'll just have to see together. And then the final China Glaze one is oxidized aqua and I'll be doing that over the black and this one I'm also going to try over a hollow and this one I'm putting over deviate which may be too close to the color to uh, really get a contrast but we'll just see as that starts to crack and the last one that I have for you guys is the La Shine from uh, the Born Pretty Store. And I'm going to be swatching that over Revlon Blue Lagoon. So I'm curious to see how this one compares um, both to the other shatters and to the Kellier that they used to carry. Um, it's going on really smooth. Whoa, it's cracking super fast. I'm sure you guys can see that, like, right in front of your eyes. Um, and you saw I put it on with just, um, straight quick strokes, and I got a lot of shatter effect. I mean, compared to the metallic china glazes, uh, the La Shine has a ton more shatter to it. So, I'm just going to go through these one more time now that they're mostly dry. There's the gold. There's the bronze. There's the silver. There is the uh, lavender. There's the pink. There's the teal. And, you know, you can see it a little bit... Um, like I said, the contrast between those two is maybe not my best choice. And here is the La Shine. And as I look on this bottle, it doesn't really have a name on it. Um, on the bottom, there's a sticker that says L022. But I think on the website, these are just going to be mostly by color. So if you're interested in that... Um, I'll include a link to the Born Pretty store, and I'm actually going to put that on my blog because I also have a uh, promotional code. Um, if you do choose to order from them, I forget exactly what it is. I want to say it's a percentage off, like maybe 20%. Um, I don't have it in front of me right now, but um, I, I like the way that crackles a lot. It's not quite as unique as the Kellier but it's a lot different than the China Glaze Crackles. So, there's one more look for you guys. Um, as I find different crackles, I'm going to continue swatching them since you guys seem to enjoy, but some of the colors that you guys have found, uh, like the Pure Ice and a couple other brands, I haven't been able to track down myself. But, you know, I'm I'm happy with what I do have. Um, this manicure is actually on its third day and still looking really good. So, yeah, I'm still enjoying the whole crackle trend. Um, and I hope you guys are too. So, 
Uh, let me know if you have any questions. Let me know if you managed to track down some of these colors. And as always, thanks for watching.